Today, we're gonna check out the new episode of Call of the Night. And the first episode was interesting. It introduced us to vampires as like a part of the world. And you know, you got the kid with insomnia, but I still want a lot more. I still don't know how great it is or how good it's gonna be just based off that one episode. Some series, one episode in, you're like, this is amazing. This one, one episode in, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna need a little bit more. Now, our boy's supposed to fall in love with a vampire. That's his goal, so that way he can become a vampire. With that said, let's jump into it. Welcome to you. But before we do, most of you are not subscribed to the channel, so support the content if you enjoy it and join the community if you haven't already. And you can find the full length as well as exclusives over on Patreon. That loud ass metal door, bro. I like how purple it is. Oh, wait, damn it. They just switched to yellow. Well, I guess how colorful it is, you know? The scenes are typically like shades of a color. But why are you looking there? Whoa, she's about to give him the talk. <laughs> oh, she gets so embarrassed. Got that good shit, bro. I'm trying to. <laughs> what? Bro, what's my neck? Like, what? He, he'd be like, uh, it's the same thing. It's just whipping it out. He's whipping out the neck. Yeah, you got that good shit, bro. <laughs> and little stick legs. Oh, this one's not all colorful. Oh, well, I guess it's got that, like, that cyan sort of color. Nice. There it goes to the yellowish, greenishes. I like that. And you got the purple, pinkish one. Were these the same guys? These guys are always getting wasted, dude. Oh. She has descended. Whoa. Whoa. Dude, she did say that, that it's like eating and at the same time, so. Yep. Mm -hmm. Got him. She don't got a phone. Damn, what kind of old phone is that? Dang. I mean, it's a reasonable response. It would be hard to live in this day and age without a phone. Ooh, looks for shit. Don't it. Bro, you better update. No. No, not that way bigger. Bigger screen is cooler. Get a new one then. Oh my gosh, wow. Wasting his night, which is kind of his day. It's the time he looks forward to. Oh. Oh, she about to... If he loses a lot of blood, though, ain't that bad for him? Better watch out, she going... Maybe. Ooh. Just do it. Aw, he's jelly. Don't believe her, she's lying. Or maybe she's telling the truth. I don't know. It's like trying to suck a thick smoothie through a small straw. 
How does the the how do they just heal up the holes? How does this man just not like bleed out? Like the neck is bro, there's some there's some veins there where you you be in trouble. She hit the wrong spot and you are goner. She went and bought a cell phone so that way you guys can contact one another, bet. That's why she's late. She was getting her cell phone set up. <laughs> Bro, you know where this man lives. <laughs> Damn, rude. Yeah, I'm saying, what the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. So he's saying that he played with them when he was a kid and he didn't have friends? French. <laughs> こんな絶対楽しいし、これを最大限楽しめるとか。友達を作るとこから始めるべきじゃない。うるさいですよ。そして思いついた。妙に見つかりにくい場所に放置、コミュニケーションが取れたら面白いんじゃ。だって、ボ
We'll see what happens. But anyways, in this episode, it, it really focused around the fact that Nazuna and Yamori really don't have a way to communicate with one another. So they had to, to find a way since every time it turns nighttime and he goes outside, he can't find her forever. She can't find him because they don't have a way to communicate. So that's what they end up working on. They get these little transceiver watches, like some spy kids shit. Uh, apparently he had a pair when he was younger. He left one of them up on top of this mailbox thing and then went to find it later. Wasn't there. He never knew what happened to it. He never even tried to use the one he had to find out who had the other one. So by the end of it, we find out it was that childhood friend, the girl that's liked him this whole time. By the way, I'm just saying, you could do worse. Listen, they're they're anime characters, okay? Don't be weird. It's, it's, they're anime characters, all right? They're specifically drawn to look a certain way, okay? Sure, they, they slap on like a, a uniform or whatever on them. 80%, it, it feels like, it feels like 80% of popular anime is based around teenagers. Okay, you got people simping over fucking like kids all the time in anime. They're anime characters. People draw them specifically to look a certain way. Okay, you get what I'm saying? I'm just saying he could do worse. Okay, he ends up doing the watch thing, gets a new watch, gives Nazuna one of the watches so that way they can communicate. Now that's going to be the way they do things. They communicate via the watches and that way it acts as a transceiver watch. So they can just communicate. It's kind of like a walkie talkie. Now they have a lot of fun and he wants to start calling her Nazuna Chan. And that's a little bit more, more personal. You know, it's a, more of a term of endearment. It's a title of endearment. So that's going to you know, he he wants to get closer to her, right? He's trying to fall in love with her. Now, he it's kind of messed up that he's trying to fall in love with her specifically so that way he can become a vampire instead of like trying to fall in love with her. Instead of just naturally falling in love with her, he's like trying to. He's like, what can I do to do this? You know, it, it is a little weirder. They're really cute together. She makes a lot of these inappropriate jokes. But when he gets into the lovey-dovey shit, she's all like, no, he flustered and shit. So... That's really cute. I mentioned the first episode didn't, it wasn't really like, you know, but the second episode, oh, a lot more. That girl that likes him has had to watch this whole time. That's a big deal to me. The fact that he really wants to go out of his way to communicate with Nazuna, that's a big deal with me. And and he's gonna continue to get closer to her. I really like it. And they, they talk about the blood and like sharing that. And also he talks a little bit about loneliness in this. If you notice that during that scene where he's walking, testing the transceiver, he's he's talking about that and like how he's, you know, he's kind of reflecting a little bit about being alone, but then also maybe not being alone because he's like testing the transceiver. So I think this is going to have a little bit of a, a of a deeper feel to it at times when he's like reflecting on those moments. But I am a lot more interested in it after the second episode than I was after the first. Um, after the first, I was like, oh, yeah, kind of rom-com with a vampire. But now it seems like it's going to be a little bit more than that. I'm definitely down for it. So with that said, I want to know what you all thought about this one down in the comments below and as always if you enjoyed the video then like the video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss another one and until next time make sure you all keep it fresh peace